Now let's discuss the primitives that are available in the coral for manipulating the sloppy DHT, in particular the put and get operation. The primitives are exactly the same. It is just that the semantics of the put and get are very different in terms of how it is actually implemented. So put takes on two parameters, key and value. Key is the content hash, and value is the node ID of the proxy with the content for the particular key. Essentially, this put is announcing the willingness of the proxy to serve the content whose signature is key. The put can be initiated by the origin server with the new content, or it could also be initiated by a node that just downloaded the content and wants to serve as a proxy to reduce the load of the origin server. In both cases, they will want to do a put operation. And the result of doing the put operation is to store this key value in some metadata server. That is some node that is going to serve as a name server that can answer queries coming in saying, I'm looking for this key. In that case, that metadata server can return the value associated with that key. So what we need to do when we do a put operation is to place this key value in an appropriate node. Now what do we mean by an appropriate node? Ideally, what we want to do is given a key, we want to store it in a node ID whose ID is n equal to key. That's the desired node where we want to place it. But we want to do this without really causing a metadata server overload. Now, how do we determine if a particular node is overloaded? Well, what we're going to do is define two states. One state is called a full state. And what that is saying is a particular node, let's say node n, is already storing L values for a key. Remember what I said earlier. This key value pair can be placed by either the origin server that is creating the content, or it could be placed by a proxy who is saying, I'm willing to serve as a proxy for the content. So there could be lots of nodes that have the content and are willing to serve the content. All of them would have done put operations. So the node that matches exactly the key that is being put may already have quite a few candidates that are willing to serve as the content providers for that particular key. That's this parameter full. That's saying, I'm willing to host up to L entries for this key value pair. Anything more than that, I'm not going to do that. I'll get overloaded. So the full is a condition. You can say it's a spatial condition that's saying, I'm willing to, to entertain up to L content providers for a particular key K. The second way a particular node may get overloaded is if it actually starts getting a large number of requests for a particular key. So this is a time metric that says a node has a beta parameter, and the beta parameter is the number of requests per unit time that a node is entertaining. So if it says that I'm already entertaining beta requests for this particular key, and therefore, if you want me to store the same key, I'm going to say, no, I cannot do it because I'll get overloaded. So this is a space metric that's saying how many values I'm willing to store for a particular key. Loaded is stating how many requests per unit time I'm willing to entertain for a particular key. Those are the two metrics we're going to use in determining whether to place a key value pair at a particular destination node.